white salsa too. All right, we got an egg white scramble with some avocado and shrimp. We got hash browns, and then we got two pancakes with some bananas and strawberries over it. Gianna is uh, Gianna's still waiting over here, but if there's anything that I learned from prep this year, she got to eat big to get big. What's up guys, welcome back to the videos. Me and Tiana just got home back from breakfast. We went to our favorite place ever. We're about to head to the gym and go to the grocery store because I wanted to make a video specifically on how I'm setting up my new lean bulking diet and my entire workout split. I've gotten a lot of questions from you guys asking like now that my show's over, what's next for me as far as this? So I've officially like gone through the phase of just literally eating whatever I want, like whenever I want. So I am now officially in my bulking stage to have all of my macros and my workout split for bulking so I thought I'd go ahead and take you guys along with me to the grocery store I'll show you guys everything that I get for my bulking diet as well as how I set up my training split for bulking because it is awesome. Today we're gonna hit some back. What are you laughing at? Today we're gonna hit some back. I've said this before in the videos, my back on stage was my weak point. The judges said that something that I need to bring up is my back. I hit back twice a week now. Today is Saturday, so this is my second back day. We're gonna be focusing on a lot of rows and going heavy around eight reps. So let's go ahead, take our pre-workout and head to the gym. All right, so for pre-workout, we're gonna use- What are we you using? You see that? If you guys don't know, we did just come out with a Legends pre-workout. This is like a Legends and staunch collaboration. It's my own blend of pre-workout and grape flavored. It's really, really good. If you guys wanna try it for yourselves, it's live right now. You can head to the link in the description and grab yourself one. We're gonna overflow it. successful back day today. Today was my last day of the week that I work out, so tomorrow's a rest day. But I figured while I eat my post-workout meal, which is just one scoop of protein and three packets of cream of wheat, I'll put the macros on the screen. I thought I'd go ahead and talk to you guys about my training split now that I'm on my bulking diet, as well as the macros that I'm hitting every single day. So for my training split, I used to do a push-pull legs and then repeat training split. Now that I'm bulking, I'm trying to focus on each body part individually. So Monday is chest, Tuesday is back and arms, Wednesday is legs, Thursday shoulders, Friday arms, and then Saturday back. That being said, back and arms are, in my opinion, my two weakest points on my body. So I'm really trying to hit those as hard as possible and get as much size as I can for next season in both my arms and my back, as well as keep developing my chest and shoulders, which I think are my strong point. In order to do that, what I have learned through my entire prep and through working out for as long as I have is 
you need to eat in order to grow. So I'll put my current macros on the screen right now. I'm eating a lot of food in preparation for next year. My goal weight is 210 pounds. I wanna be a consistent, leaner 210 pounds than I was at the beginning of last season. Um, I think that we definitely have enough time between now and showtime next year in order to gain that much weight, and I wanna do it the correct way. So yes, even though I'm still hitting macros, I'm not limiting myself to what I can and can't eat. I'll still give myself a few meals through the week that I can just eat whatever I want. Like me and Tiana went to go get breakfast. I had pancakes, I had an awesome scramble and stuff. So when we go out to eat with friends, I'm not limiting myself, but I am conscious of my goals and I know what I need to do in order to reach those goals. So even though, yes, I am eating whatever I want still at certain points, I still understand that I'm still hitting my macros while living my life. So. What I always preach to you guys is I wanna promote a healthy lifestyle while still having fun with your friends. So that's exactly what we're doing, but we're making gains and we're hitting goals. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish up my post-workout meal. Then we are gonna to go to Walmart and I'm gonna show you guys exactly what I get for my lean bulking diet for meal prep for the week. We have made it to Walmart. We are getting everything that we need. I'm gonna walk you guys exactly what I get for my lean bulk. We've started out with our greens. Always, always need greens, but now I can actually have real fresh fruit. So I'm gonna grab some strawberries and bananas. I put these in my oats or on top of my waffles or pancakes in the morning. These are perfect for micronutrients. Next up, we are gonna get some Greek yogurt. I like to eat this before I go to sleep, so I'll save this for like my last meal with some granola. I get the non-fat plain, because you can just like sweeten it with like truvia and honey and stuff, so it doesn't add any extra like carbs or fat, so this is the one that I get. Next up, some egg whites. I still eat these, but I also throw in like an egg or two in the morning to get that, that extra fat that I need. Now for milk, I usually stick to the almond milk, but I need the extra calories, the extra fat, so I have turned to... Just gotta get from the back. I've turned it to whole milk straight from the cow, all the nutrients in this one. I use this in like my cereal, protein shakes, and everything like that. Then oats, these are my absolute favorite. So you can either get like quick one minute or the old fashioned. I just think the old fashioned tastes better. I like the consistency in this one. I get the big tub because I eat a ton of oats through the week. There's so many options. We spend the most amount of time grocery shopping in this aisle because you take forever to decide. Look how many options I have to choose from. Remember when you, you know just what? had to okay. walk by this aisle? Yes, now I get to, now I get to eat it. This you know what? what, grab one of everything this, and put it in the car. This is what we're gonna do. I'm gonna pick one today, but everybody that's watching this right now, leave in the comments which cereal I should try. I'm gonna let you guys pick for next week's cereal oh, choice. For now, this week, you know what we're gonna get? Cocoa, Cocoa Puffs. Puffs. This week's choice is Cocoa Puffs. Last week was Honey Bun Cereal, and then the previous week was Frosted Flakes. I think Frosted Flakes is probably my favorite cereal, but <laughs> I'm going for all of them. Okay, so usually when I'm on prep or I'm trying to like cut, lean out or whatever. I get the 96 four ground beef, but we are actually gonna go with the 90 10. Now, cause I do need a, a little bit more fat. I'm eating around like 100 or so grams of fat. So I need the extra. Now something that's super weird, but that's literally my favorite thing to eat that I discovered the day before I went on stage is turkey breast cutlet. Like usually interchange between like chicken breast or these. And this week I'm gonna go with the turkey breast cutlet. They're super lean and they taste really good. It doesn't even taste like, like ground turkey. I don't like the chewy taste, but this is like this is really good. So two packs of these. And lastly for my protein, I'm gonna get salmon. Salmon is my favorite fish, has all of your omega-3s as well as high in fat. So it's good for me to get on my macros. So I usually interchange this with steak. So like one week I'll have salmon, one week I'll have steak. Uh, this week we're going with salmon. Good to go on all of our protein. Now for some extra carbs, because I am eating like 475 carbs to like 515 carbs, depending on my activity for the day. So we do get a ton of different carb options. I like the Dave's Good Bread, so we're gonna go with that for toast in the morning. We're gonna go with some bagels as well. I eat these like pre and post. I think we have we have some at home, right? So we're just gonna one. I like the cinnamon raisin the best. No. <laughs> I can have them, I just don't want them. Right. Mm. To curb my sweet tooth, which I, for some reason, 
at night, I get the worst sweet tooth. I don't understand. But yeah, I catch him munching on cereal out of the box in the middle of the night. This is my favorite. I love ice cream sandwiches, and these are actually, these have pretty good macros: three grams of fat, 29 grams of carbs, and four proteins. So pretty good. Now I get two types of rice. Usually I'll uh, I'll get a bag of basmati rice that you cook in like your rice cooker or whatever, and then I'll get the Uncle Ben's ready rice, which is just if I'm in a rush or I'm in a hurry, these are super easy to take and to track as well. Because this is a little bit more difficult to track how much you're actually eating. So pretty much most of the time when I'm eating rice, I just guess. But with these, they have exact macros on the back. So like a serving, it's 52 grams, so I can eat a whole bag, and that's that's my intake for that certain meal. Either way, that's the two types of rice that I get. The only one that I I have never tried peanut butter chocolate chip. We're going for it. Hey guys, I'm gonna interrupt today's video to give a quick thank you to today's video sponsor, Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of classes in design, business, tech, and more. I get tons of questions from you guys asking how I learn to film, color grade, and edit. Skillshare is a great place to learn all of these. You're able to take as many classes as you want in tons of different categories without actually paying for each one individually. If you head to the film and video tab, you can find tons of classes to help improve your filmmaking skills. One of my favorite classes is how to color correct like a pro. Using Skillshare has really helped me in not only editing, but being more creative when I'm out filming my videos. If you want to jump around and learn different skills other than just filmmaking, they have tons of courses ranging from music and design to lifestyle and business. Skillshare is a great place to learn. Head to the first link in the description down below to start your free two month trial now. All right guys, that is going to be the end of the video. That's exactly how I'm setting up my off season prep. So it is almost September. I start prep again at the end of November. I'm about 99% sure that I'm competing in a show in March. I do have about 14 weeks until I have to start cutting. So I am gonna start a heavy bulking season very, very soon. I just kinda wanted to get my body back adjusted to eating normally again, get all of my cravings out of the way before we actually start the bulk. So that's my lean bulking right now. In a couple of weeks, I am gonna start my actual prep for off-season bulking, so I'm very excited about that. If you guys have any questions about my meal plans or, or my lifting schedule, leave them in the comments down below and I will answer them for you guys. I'm so stoked to be back on it and back making fitness videos. I'm really, really passionate about fitness as well as cars, so I'm glad a lot of you guys like these as well. I'm gonna go ahead and end today's video. Thank you guys very, very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.